healthy lifestyle. And speaking of which, that question of the day to you is, have you switched to a healthy diet? And what have you done to make it easier, fun, or tasty? Share your experiences. That is hashtag new normal. And of course, you can call in using those numbers at the bottom of your screen. Now, remember, we are sharing what it is we're doing individually. So at least we can encourage a bigger group of us to take up healthy eating. But before we get to that, there are some stories that are making headlines this morning. And... Uh, Libya's outgoing prime minister of a UN-recognized government of national accord, that is GNA, Fayez al-Saraj, attends celebrations in Tripoli, Matayas Square, as a war-torn country prepares to mark the 10th anniversary of the start of a revolution that toppled dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Now enjoy these sights and sounds from those celebrations. Elsewhere to health matters and health workers in eastern DR Congo have begun an Ebola vaccination drive after four cases, two of them fatal, surfaced just three months after the country's last outbreak of the disease. Now, the World Health Organization said in a tweet, and I quote, the authorities today launched an anti-Ebola vaccination campaign in Butembo just a week after the virus re-emerged. Workers at Matanda Hospital, where the first positive case of Ebola was treated, were the first to be vaccinated. The health ministry announced on February the 7th that four women in Bien in the tribal region of North Kivu had fallen ill with a notorious hemorrhagic fever and two have since died. On November the 18th, DR Congo declared the country's 11th documented epidemic of Ebola was over. <laughs> Now, during a speech in Parliament, South African Health Minister Dr. Zweli Mkize says that his country will give its doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine to the African Union after the country scrapped the vaccine's rollout due to concerns over its efficacy against a new strain of COVID-19. Now, Dr. Mkize also says that South Africa has instead turned to the Johnson and & Johnson and Pfizer vaccines with the first batch experience expected within the cause of this week. The recent announcement about around the limited efficacy of the AstraZeneca vaccine, so-called cough shield, has already, uh, which has already been cured, was certainly disappointing. However, we are determined not to be derailed on our commitment to roll out in February. As announced by the President, we have also managed to successfully secure 9 million doses of Johnson & Johnson and the first place of it will be delivered within the course of this week. And of course, the uh, announcement will be made about the starting of the vaccination. We have heard also that 500,000 doses are expected over the next four weeks and supplemented by those from Pfizer, 20 million. I can also just say that in discussion, we have actually uh, involved enough dosages to be able to cover all the people that need to be covered in South Africa. Now to something that actually focuses on our conversation of the day, malnutrition accounts for nearly half of deaths of children under five years globally. Here in Kenya, Istiolo is among the counties with the highest malnutrition rates. Now, the government, through the Universal Health Program and with the help of partners such as Action Against Hunger, is ensuring young children get the nutrition they need and monitors their progress as they grow. NTV's Melita Oletengez tells us more. The steps to a healthier future begins at a young age. It is the greatest responsibility of mothers to their young ones. Chala Dalacha takes this to heart. From time to time, she visits the Kula Mawe dispensary for the mid-upper arm circumference test 
a method of identifying different levels of malnutrition among young children using a color-coded tape. In Isiolo, one of the biggest issues that we are grappling with is acute malnutrition, that is wasting. So where we have a very high number of children that are, are wasted. Uh, according to the latest survey that was done in, in February um, 20, 2020, is that 16.7% of the children, uh, children under the age of five in Isiolo are uh, I wasted. According to the World Health Organization, an estimated 159 million children are stunted or have low height for their age and 50 million are wasted, which means they have a low weight for their height. <coughs> Many families living in Isiolo cannot afford or access enough nutritious foods like fresh fruit and vegetables. The children that are coming to the health facilities are able to receive quality nutrition services. That includes management of uh, acute malnutrition. So when they come to the health facilities, when they present with the malnutrition uh, and with the capacity of the uh, health workers, they're able now to admit them into the program. For Chala Dalacha, the universal health coverage program has been a lifeline of sorts. The child she is raising now was saved in the nick of time. She developed complications on her due date and had to be referred to the Isiolo County Referral Hospital, some 80 kilometers away from her home in Kulamawe. Na kuna hata siku tulikuwa na mama mjamzito akaleta hapo hospitali alikuwa na damu kidogo ana bleed sana gari kachukua muda na kwa bahati mbaya mama alifariki akiwa hapa dispensary lakini tulipopata hii huduma ya UHC hata ambulance ilikuwa tukiita inakuja kwa haraka na tunapata huduma vizuri at the Tupendane community dispensary Loturu Aretia is here for her prenatal session. She is expecting her seventh child and every step towards a safe delivery counts. But she doesn't have to worry about costs. card universal ambayo tulipewa. Habla awali tukiwa atuna iyo card tulikuwa na shida. Kwa maana ulikuwa unaenda ata jendro uneza kosa shilingi ya msini ya kutibiwa. Lakini wakati iyo card ilifika mini ilifuraia kwa sababu ilinisaidia sana. The Universal Health Coverage Program piloted in the counties of Nyeri, Kisumu, Machakos and Isiolo has been lauded as a game changer for the country's health sector. President Uhuru Kenyatta launched a biometric registration of one million needy people to the program. Milita, Oletenges, NTV. Okay, so now I have to wear my mask because we are in the kitchen. Remember we said we are here to actually understand how to put together healthy and nutritious meals. But before we get to it, well, insects can be slimy, cringe-inducing creatures, often squashed on site by humans, scientists say crickets, mealworms, and grass wasps. Wasps, rather, are also an unexplored nutrition source that can help address global food security. Now, Carrier Valley is a drought-prone area and cases of child malnourishment under the age of five are very high, a situation that has led to a high infant mortality rate. Now, to curb the situation, mothers have discovered an interesting formula which includes mixing edible insects with porridge to save the lives of children. Rose Wangoi with more. the Sunrise Children's Home, we meet two-and-a-half-year-old Sharon Chepto. She's healthy and upbeat, mingling with other children. Chepto is known as the Miracle Baby. When NTV met Chepto in Sabor Village, Baringo South, in August 2019, she was fighting hard to stay alive. Her tiny body riddled with the mild infections from months of severe starvation. Chepto looked pale, and her skin had cracked, flaky, and patchy. Due to her condition, Chepto was rescued and taken to Sunrise Children's Home, but unfortunately, her sibling died of malnutrition. She was so weak, so weak that she could not move. 
at the children's home, Chepto was well received and taken care of. One year down the line, little Chepto is unrecognizable. The secret behind Chepto's recovery is a recipe that includes crickets and worms that is mixed with porridge. Sounds tasty, right? Kerio Valley in Elgeo Maraquet and Baringo counties have reported severe cases of malnourishment of children under five years, a situation that has led to high infant mortality. Awali, malnutrition ilikuwa over 30 percent. This sad reality forced Dr. Carolyn Kipkowech, an entomologist from Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, to come up with a greenhouse model to rear and breed edible insects to be used in enriching porridge. In other countries in the world, especially Thailand, Thailand are doing junks and junks of crickets. The European, European Union have already passed laws on uses of edible insects in food. Our grandfathers and mothers attest to the point that they've been using crickets from time immemorial, especially in emergency situations to save children when there were droughts. At the greenhouse, mealworms, crickets and grasshoppers are specifically reared in cages under their ideal conditions to ensure they multiply rapidly as required. And the part of the mealworm that we use is the, is the larvae. The ones that are almost 20 grams, we starve them overnight, giving them only water. This will help clear the gut. When we dip them in hot water for a minute, it will kill any any germs. We drain the extra water and dry it. Currently, we are using solar. So actually, we had only 10% of the insects to the, to the millet. The mealworms are then mixed with millet or other food items like maize and nuts, grounded to powder, then incorporated to porridge. Dr. Kipkowich says the insects are extremely rich in essential nutrients and omega-3, 6 and 9 that boost the immunity and mental health of a child. Insects have high protein content up to 62%. In vitamins and essential fats which are actually lacking in the communities and they are very, very important for child development. The enriched porridge supported Chepto to develop our muscles, to build our bones and also to strengthen our body to be able to grow. By that time, she was four kilos, but currently she's running at 10, 10 kilos. Since they started enriching porridge with the edible insects, the situation has improved, with the region recording nearly no death. The women say they relied on millet and maize flour to make porridge for their children, resulting in malnourishment as they lacked the essential nutrients. And now their new feeding craze is changing the livelihoods of the toddlers in the region as more nursing mothers are eager to receive the insect porridge. So, are insects the food of the future? They, they're actually buying the idea. They are looking at it as a sustainable way to solve the common problems that they have in their communities. So everyone uh, within the villages wants a training so that they can produce their own insects for their own consumption. The poverty levels are very high. So the solution to this food issue is actually with these insects. Scientists say the potential of insects is huge and hope that slowly but surely this potential will be realized and continue saving children like Chepto in semi-arid areas. Uzongoi, MTV. So we are back in the kitchen. Remember, we're coming to you live from the Crown Plaza Nairobi Airport Hotel. And today we just want to understand better how to put together these healthy and nutritious meals we've been talking about. And most of you have been saying eating healthy is proving to be a very bland affair. Not taste, not exciting at all. But today we want to say mm -mm, there's actually a way you can actually keep your palate excited through your journey of healthy living. And to help us through this conversation, I'm joined by Chef Brahman Nath. <laughs> she is... He is a senior sous chef at the Crown Plaza Nairobi Airport Hotel. And we are also joined by our nutritionist, that is Ken Okinder, who is a clinical nutritionist at the Kenyatta National Hospital or their level six hospital. He'll be joining us in just a moment. Let me start off with Chef Bra. Let me call you Chef Bra. It will be easier for me. It's easy, okay. 
most often than not, we come into a kitchen and we see various different kinds of chef, but you call yourself a sous chef. What's that in the first place? This is a sous chef, it's a hierarchy. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, we are dividing in different hierarchy. So I'm just taking complete, complete kitchen, kitchen uh, uh, like in charge, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm take, take taking everything, everything, all production, all production and uh, hygiene, everything. Uh -huh. Yes. So for purposes of uh, today's show is to understand how we can put a healthy, nutritious meal on our tables, but also have it, you know, palatable, exciting, tasty. So that you can keep up with the same lifestyle. Yes. So, what is this something that you normally consider when you're putting together your menu? Menu. Mm -hmm. we, don't we don't have in presently in this menu, uh, but we are going to plan to put this menu. Yes. Okay. So, particularly today, what are you putting together? Because I know you have a breakfast meal set out for us. Uh, we have, we have a, a today's today complete, complete breakfast, breakfast meal. meal. Uh -huh. So, so uh, let me introduce something. This is a called quinoa. Quinoa. This is a grain. This is a very famous grain nowadays. You can say it's a superfood. Superfood. Why superfood? Because it has everything. It's loaded of proteins, fiber, magnesium is there, zinc is there, somehow calcium is also there, vitamins B1, B2, and B6 is also there. And after that, uh, glycemic index, it will help you to reduce your blood pressure also so so many, so many nutrition. nutrition value is there okay, so and where get it from this is, this is locally, locally market this is, this origin, is origin from, from south, south Africa, Africa, america and, and uh, mexico but nowadays is very famous all the world mm -hmm. yes so is it plant -based or animal based this is grain, grain. Yes. yes okay so this, so this is the quinoa, quinoa. We, are we are going to use quinoa this quinoa along with uh, sweet potato uh, thyme toss uh, mushroom Sweet steam, sweet potatoes, parsley. We have a thyme. We have a mint. We have pepper, salt, lemon juice, olives, and some chopped tomatoes. We are not going to put onion because it's a breakfast time. We are avoiding breakfast uh, time uh, raw onion, so we are not going to put. Why do you uh, avoid the raw onions for breakfast? When you start morning, morning huh? when you eat raw onion, your mouth is will really smell. Yeah. So we. We don't want, so you have, whenever you're going anywhere, you will see raw onion is not in breakfast. Uh -huh. so that's we always eat sautéed, like a little bit cooked with whatever you're going yes. to have it with. Yes. Okay. And what's this? Is this ginger? This is, uh, manation, manation for uh, mushroom with thyme. Yes. Okay. So just before we start preparing, I see we have a lot of herbs. What is the value of herbs for you as a chef? This is... Uh, like uh, mint, mint is only increasing flavor. This is not nutritious, uh, something different value. This is uh, dry thyme. It's also for flavor and taste. And this is a parsley. Which we call here. Yeah. yeah. In no, the it's Kenya. Parsley. Dania is different. That is, that a, is cilantro. a cilantro. Oh, really? Parsley. Yes. This is, this is a parsley. parsley. We, are we are normally using in continental food. Okay, now you yes. know Dania is your parsley. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. And this is uh, olive, uh, olive oil. oil. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, there is we are very, very healthy uh, for cooking. Uh, uh, this one, uh, olive oil instead of normal fat oil. Mm. And, and this is lemon, lemon juice. juice. You know, uh, sweet potato yes. again. Vitamin, uh, vitamin is there, and the high fiber is there. Uh -huh. And what is this? This mm -hmm. is black pepper. Mm -hmm. This is also another uh, additional value is there. Black pepper. This is uh, good for digestion as well. Uh, your uh, digestion system. Yes. I see a lot of chefs saying you have to have black pepper in every meal. Now I understand why. All right. So in a moment, we'll come back to find a chef bra putting together the breakfast meal he has planned out for us. And also we understand from the clinical nutritionist the value of these ingredients and what else you can actually put together from the comfort of your home. We'll be right back.
Kenyan economy having slumped into recession in the third quarter of 2020, businesses and households are now charting a recovery path, lifting themselves from the shock inflicted by the COVID-19 pandemic. What are the opportunities that can be tapped into? How can resilience be strengthened in the face of prevailing headwinds? How can the pace of recovery be accelerated and its reach widened to the most vulnerable? This Thursday, starting 7.30 p.m., NTV hosts a panel of experts on a live virtual forum themed The Recovery of the Business Environment. They recognize that there is no wall that you can build that can keep the enemy away from you if God doesn't keep you safe. And that's a big lesson for us. Yep, we listened, we heard you, and because of that, we're back. What's Good Africa, Kenya edition. Started. I mean, I, I did other things before I got serious with the personal training. Um, I did modeling, ushering, hostessing, even did a stint with bartending. The idea of me becoming a DJ, of course, is from the love of music. Like, I live, breathe, eat music. <laughs> also, when you are being raised, especially like uh, here in Africa, there are also other cultures outside there we sure. have to appreciate. Five schools were completely submerged. Kuna hii gate inaenda kwa maji. Hapa iko 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 ipo na iko crocodile. Wakati tunafuga kwa bari na kuanga ferry kiafu. Watoto wetu bado wana soma kimya miti. Hai boy tunyesha. Hata hii exam yenye wanasema watoto watafanya labda warakishe. Minister has already indicated that they are going to send money to schools that were affected. And I want to urge the Ministry of Treasury that please can you release this money? It is not just a school in Tanzania. There are very many calamities around Lake Baringo. The government is very much aware. Quidu Mix is all about anything created artistically by us, for us. Music reviews. Feel the fresh vibes full of surprises as we get interactive with your favorite artists and celebrities exclusively. We will bring you all the latest hits, trending topics, and the weekly top 10 every weekday from 5 to 6. And you're watching Quidu Mix on NTV. Keep it love. Akiri, 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 akiri. your hands with me I want to wash my hands with you come on I will show you what to do wash your hands wash your hands in clean water wash your hands wash your hands wet them with the water wash your hands wash your hands now add some soap scrub your hands scrub your hands in the soap and water scrub above and below between the fingers too scrub under your nails and scrub a dub a doo Rinse your hands, rinse your hands, rinse your hands in water Rinse them clean, rinse them clean, rinse away the soap Dry your hands, dry your hands, dry your hands and go Akili, why do we wash our hands? To wash away the germs! Akili, what are germs? They're like tiny little bugs on your hands and they can make you sick! But I don't see any germs on my hand That's because they're so tiny that you can't even see them. Oh wow! I want to wash the germs away. Will you wash your hands with me, Akili? Of course! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Trina. Thank you for making us. Thank you for making us your favorite drive show crew. Nation FM, we love you. Oh, thank you, people. This is the bandit I'm stitching. I'm glad you do. You are the one that is here. Nagibamba na shoyenyu, wendele evil, evil.
I came to rap, you know, do my thing, my thing. Thank you for listening to 96.3 Nation FM. Of course, Antona Obina. Antona Obina. Antona Obina. Call him the King Tanjo. Mad love, uh -huh. mad respect. Uh -huh. Why? I run the city. Why is it? Africa Digital Summit is bringing together the continent's most indigenous marketers and business and thought leaders to share relevant knowledge and frameworks for implementing digital ready roadmaps. This year's summit will be held on the 25th and 26th of February at the Sarova White Sands, Mombasa. Do not be left behind. Join us in this digital transformation journey. Book your slot now. Call 020-3288-523 or 0719-038-523 today. New Year comes with New Year deals. Renew your corporate subscription and get a bonus. Subscribe to Nation ePaper for three months and get one week absolutely free. Six months and get two weeks absolutely free. One year and get three weeks absolutely free. To sign up, visit ePaper.NationMedia.com or email subscription at ke.NationMedia.com. Offer valid till 28th February 2020. Try Panadol Advance for relief from headaches, body aches, and fever. With Panadol's Optizob formula, the tablet gently breaks down in the stomach, quickly absorbs, and starts providing pain relief in 15 minutes. For fast and effective pain relief that you can trust, try Panadol Advance. We're coming to you live from the kitchen at the Crown Plaza Nairobi Airport Hotel. And as you can see, Chef Bra, who is a senior sous chef here, is putting together a breakfast meal. He actually earlier said it's going to be a bullseye egg, quinoa tabule with timed grilled mushroom and steamed sweet potatoes. And at some point, he'll also give us some mixed berries and Greek yogurt, which is essential for gut health. And now, introducing our clinical psychologist. His name is Kennedy Okinda. He's actually uh, the head of nutrition at uh, Kenyatta National Hospital, or their level six hospital. Thank you for joining us on this conversation. As we let a chef put together our breakfast this morning, he let us know of some of the ingredients that he's putting together. For example, perhaps there are people who are hearing quinoa for the first time and thinking it's something that's very removed or cannot be found locally. What He told us the value of it in as far as helping with hypertension. What value does it also have from your experience? Uh, definitely uh, what quinoa is, it has quite a lot of ingredients mm -hmm. that are beneficial what I like to mm -hmm. uh, what it has is uh that's what called chemicals and not phytochemicals are quite products that we find within the plant based uh, Okay, now I'm being told that we've lost your sound for now. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry, as we try to figure out eh, what's going on with your sound. But chef, I see you're already putting together the egg. This is egg set inside up. Uh-huh. Yes, we are going to add in that same plate in mm. breakfast. Mm -hmm. Add sunny side up. All right. To complete our breakfast meal. 
Okay, and uh, do you make the egg according to your client's uh, needs or this is how you would ideally uh, put together the food? Normally breakfast mm -hmm. is required eggs. Yeah. Always, without eggs, your breakfast is not complete. All right, but there are some who can't stand the sunny side app, the rather well done eggs. So, do you consider See, that? Blade, uh, sunny side up uh, eggs is, is not, we are going to use lots of oil, mm -hmm. and this is the healthiest also. Okay. And uh, somehow, is sunny side up is always people is uh, people favorite eggs. Uh -huh. People favorite eggs. Yes. At least I know I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the eggs are getting together. And I see the tomatoes and the mushrooms now are on the grill. So what exactly are you going to do? Mix everything up? Because I'll now I'm going to uh, grill this one first. Yeah. And uh, after that, uh, I will use sunny side up. Okay. And then I will start molding and plating. Okay. And what does molding mean? Molding is we have. I will give a good shape of uh, for presentation in a plate. Okay. Yes. All right. How locally available are mushrooms? I've heard people say they would love to partake of them, but they seem to be a bit more expensive in this side of town. But the mushroom is see according to our hotel's standards, mm -hmm. we have to also follow up that uh, our clients. Mm -hmm. How is our clients? Okay. So we have to fulfill our clients' requirement as well. Okay. Yes. Do you get uh, the mushrooms here locally? This is mushroom. This grown? is a uh, fresh mushroom. Is there? It's uh, locally available uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mushroom. Okay. Now there are different types of mushrooms out there. We have darker ones. We have the. Uh, we these have. Ones. See, uh, this is mushroom is uh, called bottle mushroom also, mm -hmm. and that is called fresh mushroom also. That is uh, cheapest mushroom, and there is many varieties of mushroom uh, like uh, Gucci is there. Uh, uh, Noki is there, Shitake is there, so many mushroom varieties there. Do they all have the same benefits? Benefits almost the same, mm -hmm. but all mushroom cost-wise is different. Because mm -hmm. I am talking about Gucci, Shitake, they are a very expensive mushroom because it should look like dry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, the question here would be, you said that it's good for breakfast and it's also rich in protein. Is that the yes, case? Yes. So if I was to partake that and an egg and perhaps a starch, I would be good to go? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So we'll, now, let me start molding this one first. Molding it. So. All right, so as a chef is molding his meal, as he is saying, let's hear from uh, our nutritionist. So we were talking about the availability of quinoa and, of course, the value it adds to our meals. What exactly is that? Yes, uh, as I was saying, uh, definitely we, most plant-based uh, foods have what we call phytochemicals. And phytochemicals have that... Uh, uh, what we call uh, uh, nutrition value, what they do, they fight the, 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 the infections by doing the, they, 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 most of people who are infected, they have what we call free radicals, okay? So free radicals are just ions that cause infection mostly. So what phytochemical does, they counteract, they oxidize those free radicals, preventing them from further oxidizing the cells. So that's what exactly what plant the best uh, 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 foods have. Again, uh, if you could see what uh, we are having here, breakfast is one of the most important meal of, for, the, day. For, of the day. Yes, yes. because it, it's, it means break, you are breaking the fast. You've stayed for quite a long time overnight eh, without taking a meal. So you need a complete meal, which is more nutritious to you so that at least you'll be able to move on during the day, okay? okay? So um, as Chef was trying to explain, uh, according to the setup here, we have protein, where you can have mushroom there. So mushroom, like we've sorted the, the part of the fiber, part of it, in even, even the, you look at the caloric content of the mushroom, it's quite conducive also for the diabetic patients, yeah? So um, we have the tomatoes there, Tomatoes are what called lycopenes. So lycopenes is also part of the phytochemicals that can be beneficial also for the heart and also to prevent further cancer cases. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, now he said that it is so important for a chef to always have the herbs. 
Yes. All right. Now, some of them are locally grown, some of them are imported, but whatever the case, it's always used in our meals. So is it a plus or a minus for somebody who's putting together a healthy meal? Are additives a no-no or should you just be careful about the amounts? No, no, no. Herbs are quite beneficial, actually. Uh, they have quite a, a, big, a lot of benefits to the, to the patients and also to, the, to somebody who is having a, a meal. So uh, having herbs for the meal preparation is quite beneficial to, to, to someone. Because now, uh, if you put together different herbs, you are able to, to, to incorporate most of the nu nutrients, especially the micronutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, which are normally not easily uh, achieve, achieved by the body. So if you, the different types of herbs have different types of, of micronutrients. So I'd rather uh, you incorporate them within your meals. Again, remember, they add that taste and flavor to you and you know food starts from the mouth yes. and all of us psychologically we start eating from our mind yeah so having herbs will motivate you yeah it, it brings that appearance of the diet okay so. so does that answer the question for those who say healthy eating is so bland it's so tasteless and all that so perhaps that's how to spice it up Definitely, yes. Eh? Uh, you find even for children, eh? what, 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 what most parents do, they have kind of a flat kind of a meal, yeah, without even, you know, like when we eat, we eat from our mind. For instance, I can tell you, somebody may decide to prepare rice, prepare cabbage, then serve it in a white plate. Psychologically, you won't have that uh, urge of eating that food. Why? It's too color. Like the color is quite flat. Okay, uh, you see. So now when we have the the herbs uh, incorporated within our meals, they come in different colors. Uh, then it it gives you that appetite. Yeah, you have that uh, urge of eating. And eating, as we say, is more psychological. Hey, yes. now the other thing that I noticed, and he actually mentioned, and I said I'm one of us who doesn't eat yeah. a sunny side up <laughs> egg because I can't tell why we need to have an in-between egg. Yeah. But uh, he mentions that it's actually an important or one of the most healthy prepared eggs. Yes. Why? Okay, okay let, let's just try to look at the composition of an egg. Eh? It has egg white, it has an egg yolk. Eh? The, each, each, each part has a different nutritional value. Like the egg white is now the protein part of an egg, okay? So some people will rather do the protein and leave the, the, the yolk, which is now part of the fat and the cholesterol, yeah? Most people know that cholesterol is bad. Yes, we have bad cholesterol, we have good cholesterol, okay? So uh, cholesterol is also important in our body. Like in, it insulates our, our cells, it helps in transportation of some minerals and vitamins, you see? So uh, having egg prepared in such a manner, it's easier for you to know exactly uh, which part is quite beneficial to you. So if the white part, which is more protein, like, will help you much achieve the protein requirement you require. Some people prefer not to incorporate all the protein and the, 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 the cholesterol together. So uh, the, the kind of preparation Chef has just made today will give you a freedom of taking the protein part and maybe leaving the cholesterol part. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so in terms of um, the quantities, yes, yes. and as we said, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, yes. are there certain food groups that take precedence over others, it, depending on how you set up your body to fuel throughout the day? Uh, I can say there's a, a specific food groups that are twice the others. What normally happens, we have a, a, a close to 10 food groups, yeah? So each food group has its own nutritional value, okay? We have the cereals, we have the, the legumes, we have the, the meat and meat products, and each you find provides different nutritional value. So it's quite advisable that in a day, it's important that somebody takes at least seven out of the probable 10 food groups, okay? Yeah, so there's nothing like one food group outweighs the other, okay? Uh, we all agree that there are three macronutrients that are important, that is the carbohydrates, the fats, and, the, uh, and the, the, the proteins. But again, there are those other micronutrients, that is the vitamins and minerals, which are also so important to us. Okay? For instance, now, if you look at now the, 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 the process of cancer, cancer, cancer multiplication, you find that uh, these are cells that go wild. They interfere with the normal gene mutation of the cells, okay? So now when we have these micronutrients, for instance, zinc, 
here, we call them antioxidant. They try to, uh, to shorten down that process of cells being wild. So if you incorporate all that food group into one, you'll be able to achieve what your body requires. Okay. Yes. Now, You've broken down the importance of the different uh, you know, food groups, but you see, like the way you always say, here nutritionists saying yes. that uh, eat breakfast like a king, yeah. lunch as a princess, yes. and dinner as a pauper, yes. which means the opportunities for you to make use of these nutrients yes. reduces as you go towards you know, the end of the day. So yes. with breakfast being the most important, are things like uh, proteins perhaps more important, especially if you are in some way you need a lot of physical activity? You know, depending on what you're engaging in the day, yes. how can you put together your breakfast? Yeah, sure. Uh, breakfast is quite important because one, remember, uh, first you've taken quite a long time without eating, so that is a, you are in a starvation period, so your body needs to recover. And uh, for your body to recover, you need the backup of the nutrients you are missing before. So now, when we have a, a well-balanced uh, breakfast, we'll be able to go towards our day. And also, I, I, to, to your surprise, you'll know that most food we are eating yes. is being consumed, the brain takes the larger part of it. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. so, and, uh, so that's why you find towards the end of the day, the brain is somehow, somehow exhausted. Eh? So when we sleep, that's when the brain also have a rest. So that's why we try to limit the, the amount of food we are giving. Okay? So now when we start our day, you know, we engage our mind, we engage our body, we do some physical activity. So we need to have enough of the nutrients to take us throughout the day. Yeah? Remember also, some people will say that I'm in the office working, but remember you are engaging your brain, and brain take quite a good capacity of our of the food we, we, we eat. So uh, when we take a well uh, incorporated uh, uh, breakfast, that means it has quite a, a good number of food groups that we've just mentioned, you'll be able to sustain you within the day. Yeah, so I'll rather add the normal Kenyan breakfast is normally tea, maybe and <laughs> breakfast cereals, maybe bread for instance. But people forget that protein is quite important. Yeah. And I can tell you for a fact that nobody is able to meet their daily protein requirement. It's quite tough. It will require you to do quite much. So at least it's better you get at least three quarter of what you require. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now somebody is saying, surely, mtu wa mjengo, and somebody is going to sit in an office, cannot be eating the same portions or quantities in the morning. Is this something to consider? Sure. So for us to come with what somebody, somebody requires, requires. Let's, let's say I'm um, obese, for instance. Okay, my, my BMI for, is quite high. Now, if I'm working to lose the weight, then I'll be able to uh, I'll calculate for you your, what we call the adjusted body weight. You know, like the, the trend in which people uh, lose weight is quite not right sometimes. You find people, they want to bring it very fast. So now, when I come back to your question, is it somebody who is quite active will require quite a higher, uh, a higher nutritive value and a higher quantity of the nutrients, okay? But normally, it goes with what your body, what your body kg, yeah? So normally what happens, if you are obese, we'll try to give you the quantity that will help you reduce that weight. And we use what we call adjusted body weight. So we have ideal body weight, that is the weight you are supposed to have. Then we have, when you are obese, you will start bring you to what we call adjusted body weight. All right? It means if I'm 90 and I'm supposed to be 60, then the adjusted might be 70. Are you getting that? So when we've achieved 70, then we work towards 60. But you know what people do? They move from 90 to 60 once. And that one also has health implications, like the cardiac issues. Yeah, you find kidney issues because now you are trying to break down the ketones. Ah, your body is now. Your body is now in a hypermetabolic hyper state, state uh, which is quite not, not good. Okay. So, yeah, so now the, 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 the quantity will depend on what your weight target is. All right? And again, we have the physical activity factor that we incorporate within your quantity. Yes. Now, when we come back from hearing more about Chef, because I can hear he's put together and can also see he's put together our breakfast, I'd like to hear the breakfast options for children, yes. because this is very important yes. for caregivers and parents. 
So, Chef Bra, I see your breakfast has come together. My breakfast is ready now. Uh -huh. Complete breakfast. Okay, so perhaps take us through again the ingredients for those that missed out sure. when you were talking about it before preparation. This is quinoa. Mm -hmm. This is quinoa tabule. A tabule is a term of Lebanese. Uh -huh. What okay. does it mean? It means salad. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So quinoa is basically origin uh, from we discuss uh, South uh, America and Mexico. Now nowadays this is a very famous as a superfood. Why superfood? Because it has almost everything is there. Protein is there. High fiber is there. Vitamins one, vitamins B two and six is there. Calcium is there, and uh, as well as uh, magnesium is there. Even uh, zinc is there. So it's cover almost everything. Okay. And uh, why we are putting tomatoes here? Because t vitamin C is not there, and uh, in your body is required vitamin C. And when we are eating breakfast, we require complete meal. So that's why we add uh, tomatoes for mm -hmm. vitamin C. Okay. Egg sunny side up is there. You know, sweet potato, steamed sweet potato, is grilled mm -hmm. mushroom is there. Okay. And along with, we have Greek berry yogurt fresh. That looks yummy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So is this berries on top? Of this is a uh, homemade uh, berry comfort. Uh huh. And this is Greek yogurt down. Is it natural yogurt or vanilla? Nat natural yogurt. Natural yogurt. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. That looks amazing. And we'll put it on the side and we'll get to sample it a little bit later. Sure. Now, I'll give you an opportunity to prepare now for our main meal. Okay. Even as we engage our nutritionist father. Sure. All right. So, uh, Kennedy. Yes. Let's now with the preparation, as you said, we start eating with our eyes clearly yes. by just seeing the presentation. I'm already salivating, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And uh, the yogurt display definitely is quite a winner. Let's go to the children category. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I think if there is a category that uh, eats because they eat what they see, yes. is the children. Yes. So, why is it so important to keep the aesthetics of what you serve them in place? And also, what should you consider in the composition of the breakfast? All right. All right. Um, children are quite interesting group. In fact, it's quite uh, that the technical group, even nutritionists always have stress managing children because now they, they present with different kind of, of uh, of view as compared to adults. For adults, you'll prepare your intervention, then you, you'll go to go. But children, you'll prepare your intervention in the course of the, the, your, your plan, you find things are changing because of different kind of physiology. So now, for children, we are looking at the nutrients which are quite critical for them. Remember, uh, children are in a period of growth and development. So there are different types of nutrients they require. They require calcium for bone development and for growth, okay? And strong bones and strong teeth. They require iron for, for brain and also for, because now they are hyper hyperactive, so they require that uh, kind of iron. They require iodine for brain development. Actually, most, most people don't really put emphasis on iodine, even though uh, it has been uh, fortified within our salt, but it is also important if we can get them from our diet. So those are the kind of nutritional uh, components that you need to put in place. Proteins, for instance, they are in a period of growth and development. You find most, most parents emphasize, put emphasis so much on starch yes. in children. They forget about uh, protein side. And even if they are to give protein side, instead of giving the, the protein itself, they give, maybe let's say we prepared samaki for instance, they'll give a child a soup rather than the, the samaki, you see? Yeah, you see that. So uh, we are missing out on the, 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 the protein itself. From, of a child. So when we are preparing a breakfast for a child, the points to consider, one, you have to consider that you've incorporated at least a different types of food groups that they require. You'll have protein incorporated of that. You'll have maybe milk or yogurt to sort out the, 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 the calcium level. You'll make sure at least you've incorporated maybe, now we've talked of herbs, greens, so that at least we have sorted the, the, the zinc, the, the copper, and also the micronutrient. You can add a little bit of vegetable in the morning. And you know kids don't like vegetables. Also? Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. yeah, so because now you want to give the, the, uh, this child, because remember this child is going to school, for instance, school going children, they are so active. They, they, they play with others, they learn, they sing. So they require all that kind of uh, group of, of nutrients. Okay. 
Yes. Now you will see some, most people will say, okay, fine. I understand the importance of every food group, food group, but I'm, I'm not in a position to afford all of it yes. at the same time. Yes. So they perhaps will choose to spread out the food groups throughout the day. Yes. Is this still acceptable? Yes. yes, that is perfectly acceptable. What I've just said before is at least we have close to 10 food groups and I, I've seen somewhere that they're already exceeding. We've even incorporated insects because there are those people who also consume that. Yeah, so the food groups are quite uh, broadening up. Huh? So uh, what I've said, at least in a day, you should have a maximum of at least seven out of the 10 food groups. So you'll be able to distribute them within the, the day. Yes. Still on the quantities and perhaps the portions, you know, some people will say, as in it has to be maduom for me to believe nitashiba. Yeah, yeah. But really, nutritionists insist that you've got to watch your portions, yes. even as you take in your quantities or rather your nutrients. Yes. Why is this so important? Okay, what is uh, our body is, is set up in a given way. For instance, uh, if we give it too much of carbohydrates, what our body does, it takes what it requires, then the remaining, it stores in terms of glycogen, okay? And that's how we gain weight, actually, okay? We give the body what it doesn't require. And what the body does, because the body believes that in a given day, you'll be starving. So when you'll be starving, you have to do your daily activities. You have to think, you have to, to jog. So during that point, the body will be using the stored, the stored component of nutrient. So if we keep giving our body too much of what it doesn't require, then definitely the body will be storing this excess one. Okay? So that's why quantity is quite important. Uh, I was surprised someday I saw some meme saying that nutritionists advised me to take a small amount of uh, ugali to be in a small portion. So we find ugali has been... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, going up. <laughs> then it has like a, a small space down here, uh -huh. which is not really right. That is not really what nutritionists meant by, by the portion size. What it, they mean is at least give your body what it requires to maintain the normal metabolic process. Okay. All right. And this applies for both adults and children. And children. Okay. Yeah. Normally, Normally you, you find, find the, the nutrient requirement for children tend to be higher because of the growth and also the development they are experiencing. But adults also, uh, their nutrient content tend to be also on, on a higher rate because of, for those who are active, depending on the physical activity that somebody has on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. Yes. Right. Now, we are about to take a short break here on Your World. When we come back, yeah. uh, we'll find Chef Bra putting together a main course meal and he'll walk us through his ingredients. Yeah. And also, we would like to understand, for those that do not have access to certain nutrients in the area they live in or the region they're in, what their options would be because at times it feels like you tell me to eat this like in Haiko Kwetu, yes. so what else can I eat in place of the same? Yes, yes. We'll answer those questions and many others right after this break. Remember, we're coming to you live from the Crown Plaza Nairobi Airport Hotel. We'll be right back. Gauge 28 at 670 Kenya shillings. Gauge 30 at 370. Gauge 30 Med at 530. Royal Alu Zinc at 280 Kenya shillings. Call us today on 0722-638383. Royal Mabati Factory Limited. We are the best. 
Kijani Ridge is Tatu City's premier neighborhood, offering a quarter and a half acre fully serviced plot in a controlled development. The plots overlook a beautiful dam with natural green spaces. Kijani Ridge is a walking distance from Nova Pioneer and Crawford International Schools. Families are already moved in and more homes are under construction. Contact us for daily site visits and join us for our mega open weekend on 6th and 7th March. For the women who deserve more, Moped is now in Kenya and more than 40 countries with its nylon free surface. New Moped has unique softness and up to 100% protection. Your skin will love it. Let's see what they're developing right now. Mofix pants with anatomic fit technology. New Mofix pants, an invention from babies for babies. You should also try Mofix. They recognize that there is no wall that you can build that can keep the enemy away from you if God doesn't keep you safe. And that's a big lesson for us. He came from one of Kenya's most disadvantaged pastoral communities, the Gabra. But he excelled in almost everything he did. Godana was admitted to the University of Nairobi to study law. He was the first person in Marsabit to earn a university degree and a PhD. What took him to politics was his desire to serve his community. He and 10 others would die in a tragic air crash while on a mission to bring peace to warring communities in his home district, Marsabit. Shuka Bay smartphone ya ngugu 4G screen kubwa ya kuwatch game ni 3999 peke ni ukweli pata smartphone ya ngugu kwa bei nafuu kutoka kwa duka la Safaricom au dealer leo Safaricom for you Timeless Love It's sad to see that Roberta and you are getting married without love and without knowing anything about your old relationships. Let's see if she doesn't give you a surprise. You know something about Roberta? Perhaps you still have enough time to change your mind about that ridiculous wedding. Timeless love. Heaviness and a burning inside. It could be heartburn. Indigestion and heartburn? Eno gets to work in six seconds and works on the six symptoms of heartburn so you can keep living life non-stop. Eno, fight heartburn and indigestion fast. Try Panadol Advance for relief from headaches, body aches and fever. With Panadol's Optizorb formula, the tablet gently breaks down in the stomach, quickly absorbs and starts providing pain relief in 15 minutes. For fast and effective pain relief that you can trust, try Panadol Advance.
Good morning. Thank you for staying with your world. We're coming to you live from the Crown Plaza Nairobi Airport Hotel and in the kitchen of Chef Sue, that is Chef Bra. And he has taken us through a breakfast, uh, you know, menu. But now we would like to understand how we can put together a main meal that is healthy and nutritious for you and of course palatable but also helping us with the you know nutrition bit of it is the clinical nutritionist kennedy who is joining us all the way from kenya to national hospital or dire uh, level six uh, hospital thank you for making time to come all the way to nairobi so we'll start off with you chef now i see the ingredients have definitely changed not there are yes. some that are still there, but change for the main now, meal. Now we are going to make pan fried uh, Norwegian salmon. Okay, let me just say that again. Pan fried Norwegian pink salmon, tempered chickpeas, lentil, cilantro, and buree blanc. Okay, what does that mean? So this is Norwegian salmon. Uh -huh. It's coming from uh, Norway. It's, uh, uh, this is a farming happening in Norway and very uh, strict rule regulation is there in farming. This is one 150 years old history is there in farming. Mm -hmm. So this this is a salmon is very nutritious as well you know it's a very uh, it's a fiber is there mm -hmm. is mega mega 3 is there is uh, protect your heart mm -hmm. that is uh, nutrition value is there. Now after that I'm taking this chickpeas because we have chosen a healthy uh, menu. Mm -hmm. So instead of potatoes, mashed potato or some fried potato, I am just choosing this chickpeas. Chickpeas is also high fibers and gluten as well, gluten free. Uh -huh. So instead of potato, I am taking this one chickpeas. So it, are we saying it's also a source of starch? Because this is all starch, this is gluten free. So if you're taking the, if, it's if taking some, the place of potatoes, yes. then what does it have? Carbohydrates? Th that is a vitamins, uh, vitamins C is there and okay. uh, fiber is there. Uh huh. All right. No mm -hmm. starch. Mm -hmm. uh, we are just avoiding starch because due to healthy food. Okay. Now again, this is fresh coconut, grated coconut. This is also is 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 uh, nutritious. Mm -hmm. It's uh, help you to uh, healthy your heart. It's uh, good for digestion as well, and uh, this is grated coconut again okay. we come here this is uh, mustard seeds mustard seeds has a uh, copper as well as uh, uh, digestion is very good in the digestion as well and so you said what again what seeds this is mustard seeds mustard yes this is what we hear in the bible as small as a mustard seed it is very tiny okay <laughs> uh -huh. so i'm just using for tempering a bit in this one for flavor as well as it has a vitamin c and uh, digestive mm -hmm. agents as well. We have, you know, cherry. Yes. Uh, this is lemon juice. Oh, lemon. We discussed mm -hmm. already. And it's olive oil. And this is lentil puree. What's that? Lentil, lentil puree. puree. Okay. Yes. All right. So, so this is, I see some. This is uh, red chili. This is for flavor. And those people, some people are like some little spicy. It's okay. optional. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, so do you put it on the side or do you mix it we up We just with toss with uh, this all ingredients, yes. but uh, the spiciness will not come. It only flavor will come. Okay. Yes. So are these the this lentils? Is, this is a lentil again, mm -hmm. yellow lentils uh, mm -hmm. called chana dal. So we are using instead of potato, this one we are mixing with chickpeas, uh, lentil, yes. uh, coconut. fresh coconut, mustard seed. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So is this... This the grated version of this, or rather the this, pureed yes, version of this. Yes, this is boiled one. This one uh -huh. is boiled version. After uh -huh. that, we are tempered with some garlic, okay. some onion, and uh -huh. then pureed. All right. Yes. Excellent. So, chef, go ahead. Uh, put together our main meal. So Even we'll as we understand that uh, the rest. This of is the a salmon. We again need to marinate for ginger, garlic, mm -hmm. and some peppers, some lemon juice. and some olive oil. So the lemon juice, can you also just cut all, cut down your lemons and just place it on the fish? That is that another uh, garnish part. Uh -huh. But uh, this is, I want to mix with lemon so taste okay. will come as well. So if you cook it with a sliced lemon, it doesn't have the same outcome? It will cook, but it will not go inside. Uh -huh. It will not marinate properly. Yes. So
So I okay. just want to marinate to in enhance salmon taste okay. as well. All right. So now I'm going to put this one on grill. Let it cook a few minutes. Then we'll put in again oven to cook. Salmon no need to well done. Mm. If you well done, all nutritious everything will go. Okay, not in between. So no need to well done. It yeah. could be medium well. That is good. Okay. Yes. All right now then. Another. We have started for tempering for uh, this salmon for platings. We will take a small, a small oil. Then we will. This is a mustard seed. It will take two pieces. I will not break, otherwise it will be spicy. So hold uh -huh. like this. And this chickpeas. As well are as they pre-cooked? Are the chickpeas pre-cooked? Pre -cooked? We have okay. to soak first mm -hmm. and after that uh, just boil it. Okay. Because we don't have so much time to boil everything, all processed so Okay. And we'll add some. So chana those dal. are the lentils now? Lentil, chana dal. That is lentil mm -hmm. again. So we'll cook a little bit along with some salt as well. And we'll reduce little fire. Now we'll see. Wow, you actually literally see it rise. It puffs up as it cooks. Yeah? <laughs> yes, I'm just giving some good marks so mm -hmm. it look nice as well. So aesthetic. Yes. Okay. Then we'll add some fresh coconut. So did you buy this grated or do you get the no, original just, coconut and grate it yourself? We grate it in a home, uh, uh -huh. inside only. Okay. We'll add this one. Cherry we'll, tomatoes. Yeah, cherry tomato and we'll toss it. This tossing thing eh? it's not for everyone i've seen people try to toss and throw away their food so <laughs> it has a technique as you can see from the chef <laughs> so plates baking plates okay so, so, we, so this see. is almost done okay now i'm waiting for this one plate for, for the fish to come together okay let's let uh, chef uh, uh, continue open. with preparing our main course meal and understand better about our ingredients and the nutritional value. So, let's start with this. Faith as small as a mustard seed. Yes. What is the value of mustard seed? Uh, <coughs> I'll say the, the mustard seed, eh? it's, it's, it's part of the, 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 what we call the nuts. They, they, they give you the, mostly the best nutritional value we can have is zinc. Okay? And zinc is so important actually. Uh, if, if we look at the reproductive uh, uh, cycle of people, especially the, the men side, they require zinc for the, the, the maturation of cells. Yeah, so that, 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 that mustard seeds, nuts, <coughs> bring that kind of aspect again. And I usually tell my, my patients and also my clients that uh, pregnancy is, should not be an accident, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. 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 yeah, because now <coughs> what I mean with that is you need to plan for it in terms of the nutritional uh, aspect that you require, both from both gender, the, the male side and also the female side. So if a man is well uh, equipped with uh, enough zinc, okay, then we'll be able to know that the, 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 uh, the sperms that the, uh, the, the man will produce will be able to uh, mature enough to make sure that they, they, they help, and help repro in reproduction. Okay, so yes. are you seeing this, um, you know, the way we always, uh, we always hear men say, <laughs> So it's literal. 
<laughs> okay, uh, when we talk about Njugu, it's all about the nut side. The nut side. Yes. yes. The nut so side. this is in the same family? Yes, yes. Okay. this is the zinc side we are looking for. All right. For. Yes. Perspective. Let's talk about the coconut. This is readily available yes, yes. in this country. What is the value of it? All right. When, when we talk about coconut, we are looking at the fiber aspect of it that will help you in digestion. That's the one benefit that we can have about it. The number two thing is we are really looking at the, the omegas, okay, which are also helpful in brain development. Yeah, so uh, th that's why it's quite important for us to, to, to incorporate the coconut in our diet. One for the fiber for those people who have issues with constipation, and again, you'll be able to have the omega that will be also important for you to develop your brain. The, also, the, some omega, omega, omega 6 is normally present within the coconut. Okay. Yes. Well, when we go to the coast, or even now, I'm seeing in the city more and more, yes. is that we're encouraged to take the madafu. You know, the juice that comes out of a coconut. Yes. What's the value of this? And is it something that somebody should incorporate in their day-to-day -day nutrition? Definitely, yes. Uh, I'll, 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 I, can, I can advise once a while. You can incorporate it within diet. Just as I said, you are looking at to have enough of the fiber for yourself and then also enough of the omegas, especially for the brain development, to, to avoid the in, in inflammatory processes that might occur in you. So that is the nutritional value that you should consider. So once a while, you can incorporate it within you. Okay, somebody is asking. Master seed, is it found in Kenya or it's another import? Uh, uh, I'm not so sure about that, yeah. but I think uh, it has to. Some, in some places, it, it is there in Kenya. Uh, yeah, in right. That's about the chickpeas taking the place of potatoes, as uh, the chef was saying. What is the value of chickpeas and uh, do we still have to consider having the starch in your main meal? Definitely what I think Chef had in mind, and I need to commend him for that, is that he's trying to make a meal that it will be also conducive for those people who are diabetic, for instance. Ah. Yeah. So uh, what he has just incorporated is a, a food that is quite good in fiber and also low in caloric content. So he will be able to incorporate even the patients who are diabetic or those who are struggling with weight issues. Yeah, so I, I think that is what Chef had in mind, which is quite commendable from, from his side. All right. So, and uh, the lentils? The lentils, yeah. Now, now that is the, it's the protein. protein part, the plant protein, uh, which is also so important uh, because of the, 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 the value it adds to the body. So we've uh, added, apart from us having the, the, the salmon, which is from the, 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 the animal side, Actually, we have two types of protein. We have proteins of high biological value, and uh, we also have proteins from low biological value protein. So animal protein are normally protein of high biological value, most of the animal protein. What I mean is when you eat them, a greater percentage is going to be utilized by the body. Okay? And again, it has quite a numerous nutri nutritional content. Then also we have now the, the plant side. The plant... Uh, also provide you the aspect of fiber, yeah, and also it provides you with it. It it's try to provide you with amino acids that you have you will miss in the animal in an animal protein. So the chef has tried to balance the the two so that the the amino acids that we might not get from the animal protein will be able to get them from the plant protein. That's why the lentils come there. Okay, yeah. now chilies. We have yes. lots of those and different kinds in this country. And uh, they're optional. There's yes. some who like their food hot, yes. others who'd like them mild, others not at all. Yes. But uh, there are some communities in this country that say, in a side and a tumbo, digestion. Uh -huh. Is that really true, or <laughs> It's just a myth. <laughs> uh, I, I can't really say. I can't really say that. If I, I look at Chile nutritionally, I'm looking at now the phytochemicals I was talking about that they provide within that. Uh, though some people believe, though it requires research on that, that maybe if they take them, it will help in digestion and prevent constipation and all that. But to me, I'm looking at the phytochemicals which comes with it, with the, 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 the chilies. Okay. Yeah, it might work to some people, but not to some people in terms of digestion. But most importantly, I'm looking at the phytochemicals that will come with the, with the chili that we're so getting. So it is an Okay. All right. Now, we had said before we went to break, we also need to have a conversation about 
some of these food groups are not found in certain areas of a country. So somebody might feel a little bit, you know, um, you don't have very many options to rejig this healthy lifestyle that you're trying to establish. So what are the things that somebody should always keep in mind, even as you put together a nutritious meal? Okay. Um, I, uh, if we look at the, the broad spectrum of the, the food groups we have, uh, I believe and I'm very sure they are quite available in different parts of the, of the country we are having. Uh, I know for the, 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 the seafoods might not be available to some, but to others it will be available. But we have the options, for instance. If yeah. you, you can't have the salmon, you can have the fish. Yeah, okay. You can have the omena part of it. You'll still have the nutritional value that you needed from salmon will be incorporated from the omena and from the fish. Okay. Uh, let's look at the cereals. Most of our, the, most Kenyans we, we depend on the, the staple food that is the maize, the, the rice, all that. All of them is quite available within within our vicinity. Whether you are in a low class or in the in the higher part of the of, of, of upper class. Uh, let's look at the vegetables. They are quite readily available, the green ones and also the other vegetables, yeah, the, the cabbage class. So that is quite available. So already I've spoken of three food groups that you already have. So you, in, the, in, the, in, in the first session when we are talking about at least a, a maximum of seven, yes. you already have three sorted out. Now let's come to the fruits. We have different fruits. We have the bananas, which can give you a, a good enough of potassium. We have the mangoes, we can give you vitamin A. We have the carrots. So already you've sorted that group. Okay. Now let's come to maybe for the protein side. Uh, we'll be able to have even beans in place of maybe the lentils. Okay. We, we'll be able to have uh, eggs can, can easily be obtained by anybody, whether in a lower class or the upper class. So you'll be able to sort your, your protein content. Once a while you can incorporate meat depending on your income into your diet so that you sort the iron, you sort the, the vitamin A aspect, and you sort other nutrients that you might not be found within the, the eggs. Uh -huh. and yes. that you're about the food. options and yes. you know uh, choosing what to eat and uh, when to eat it there are some people who have consciously taken on uh, the vegetarian diet yes. they don't eat any forms of meat do you get everything from plant protein that is in animal protein uh, okay uh, not necessarily as I started by saying that most animal protein are quite uh, uh, well in terms of the nutrition in the amino acids that you require from them. So you find most vegetarians, okay, uh, they, 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 they also try to incorporate some of the animal protein. For instance, you don't find that somebody is purely vegetarian at all. They'll have to incorporate even milk sometimes. But now they try to go slow in some of the meat from the animal side, okay. So um, if you are completely a vegetarian, there are those important nutrients that you might not be getting, especially the, the, the amino acids. You, there are those who are, which are not entirely available in all the vegetables uh, that you, you take. So in once a while, you can incorporate them by adding a little bit of the, 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 the milk product from it to at least ensure that you have a complete one. Okay. Yes. All right. oh, if there are some people who will say, um, my religion is many fungus, yes, I can't eat this, I can't eat this. So they don't have the option of saying once in a while I can touch this food yes. group. Are supplements their option? Definitely, yes. yes. Uh, supplements are there, and I can tell you for a fact, uh, the most expensive uh, treatment that somebody will ever want to go about is the nutritional treatment. Because the supplements that we have, I, uh, they are commercially made. It, it means that it, is, it has all the kind of nutrients that you require in one bottle. Like you can have a 200 ml bottle that has everything that you require. And it has the calories and all that. But the challenge comes in that they are quite somehow they are expensive to afford. Yeah. So you might not really uh, get them uh, readily as you, you may require. Yes, supplements will come in handy to sort you out. Even if you are getting whatever you have in a, in a daily basis, you will not be able to meet what we call the uh, RDA, the, the daily requirement of your body. So that's why supplement comes in to narrow that gap up. Yeah. So uh, I, I can urge people that at least one, you speak with their nutritionist, so he will be able to take you through the available supplements within our market. Because again, on supplements, they have been so much overused. Okay? Uh, there are so much products outside there. And you really don't understand what they bring to your, the, the, to your body. 
in one way or the other, some have even ended up causing more problems, like the kidney issues, you know. Yeah, so it's quite good to in involve your nutritionist. So the nutrition will be able to take you through the available uh, supplements and the nutritional value that comes with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's some that are looking at budget and saying, hey, some yes. of the things you were saying, my friend, Haita Tosh and Boga. So uh, what are the options or what should you always keep in mind? And there are those who are saying nowadays eating healthier yeah. is actually more expensive than engaging in the junk. Definitely, yes. Uh, what, what, what you can do is, uh, based on your income and uh, w the, the setup you are in, okay? What we are trying to, to, to avoid is going the, the way of the junks, okay? Uh, like now, we, 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 we can easily afford the junks because they are readily available, yeah? But again, junks are quite expensive. If you, if you look at, at the, the, the cost, even if you have 100 shillings, you'll be able to have at least a good meal if you go to the market and sample some of the, the, the items. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'll be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. But again, you find if you, you have a hundred shillings and you resort to junk, like maybe chips, for instance, mm -hmm. you'll just have like one part, one meal. Yeah. yeah. And again, so you see the aspect why it's quite expensive incorporating junk into you. Apart from the, the health risk that comes with junk, again, it's expensive for us. The only thing is it's convenient because you can easily go and pick considering that the, some people are so busy and working and all that. So they, they, they tend to, to go through that. And again, with the technology going on, you can easily tap through your phone and be able to have the, the food within your doorsteps. So you see, that one has also uh, made people not to, to go out there and explore. What we normally say, you need to look at the color of the rainbow. Okay, It's different kind of colors. So that is how your, 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 your food should look like. You'll have food with different kind of colors. With that belief in mind, you'll be able to incorporate quite a number of food with different colors that are also healthy and also cheap for you. Uh -huh. so yes. Colorful your food is, is the better food. The better food. Excellent. Okay, now I will need the chef back here to give us an idea of what he has put together because it has come together and it looks absolutely awesome and yummy, if I might say so myself. <laughs> So, Chef, are you ready for yes, us? Yes, almost I'm ready. Okay, now I see the plate is looking very palatable. Yeah, you have mentioned about the importance of, of the, the salmon, salmon, the seafood. Yes. Most of the seafoods we are looking at now, they are quite, they're quite a broad uh, nutritional value that they come with. Apart from the omega-3 that he has spoken about, we have the iodine, which is also good for brain development. There are some also have calcium for the bones. Yeah, so uh, it's quite commendable that the once a while uh, people should also try to to, to incorporate seafoods uh, within their diet because of the benefits that it come about. Okay. Yes, and I think it's to go to those in the central region of this country. Yes. They rarely have fish meals, and it is important that you engage in that food group because of the value that the nutrition uh, nutritionist has mentioned. So there you go. Our main course meal is together. Yes. Chef, take us through it because I see you also have put some garnish on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks nice. So exactly what are much. we looking at? What's the purplish? This is yeah. redis, red redis. Mm -hmm. This is just only for purpose of purpose of garnishing. Okay. Yes. So that when it comes to my plate or my table, do I eat it? Because yes, I see people you can eat it. Whatever is there in uh -huh. plate, you can eat everything. You can eat yes. everything. But there are some leaves that look like they were just supposed to be seen and not to be eaten. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so for it's just for aesthetics. So, are you saying anything that your sub has a uh, value to it? So, perhaps you can engage. Uh, so, there's the radish, okay, and now th this is the radish. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is a salmon. After that, we use uh, lentil puree yes. as well, chickpeas. This is uh, gluten free as well, mm -hmm. and uh, we use uh, grated fresh coconut mm -hmm. and some cherry tomatoes. Okay, and of course uh, we this have is an a lemon, extra a lemon. Good, uh, yeah, good if you want to add uh, onto your any, fish. Any seafood is a lemon is the good. Okay, yes. so so <laughs> Kennedy, yes. you're seeing that meal. Eh? Yes. A man is looking at it and thinking, this is the main meal. Ch yes. This looks like the starter. Where is the <laughs> But you, what you're saying is that this plate has everything you need. Yes. Okay, yes. now for those that say we need half our plate full of veggies, yes. what do you tell them? 
For those who need like, like a, uh, okay, uh, you know the, the notion out there is yes. uh, that you need to put too much of vegetable into your diet, of course, which is okay. But again, when you look at the vegetable, we're looking at the, the mineral side and the vitamin side of it, and the fiber, for instance, which are also important. But remember, there are, uh, the, the aspect of the protein that, that you need to incorporate there, There's as the major source of energy for the body is the glucose. Okay? So at a point where now you deny the body that glucose component, the body will result into a mechanism we call gluconeogenesis, meaning it starts converting the stored proteins to give you energy and also the fats. And to, to that, it also has the health impact and the health effect. So uh, what I'll say is, yes, vegetables are good and should be incorporated into our diet, but let's not be taken away and avoiding other nutrients which are also important for us. For example, for us nutritionists, we are called muscle builders. My main target is to build your muscles. All right. When I build your muscles, I'll be able to, uh, to, to give you the benefit of immunity that you require. Okay? But now, in a situation where we are not building our muscles, because we are giving, doing too much of, uh, of vegetable and forgetting the protein aspect, we we'll go into a process of now the gluconeogenesis part. So the body will also try to form a mechanism to, to make you move in your day-to-day -day life. So the people who are out there are working out, out and all that and just eating vegetables, yes. you're working against yourself. Definitely, yes. Yeah. You are going into a catabolic Holic state. state. Okay? Uh -huh. And when we are going into a catabolic state, what do we produce? What we call ketones. Okay? And ketones, in one way or the other, when they accumulate within your kidneys, then we definitely will have issues with kidney stones. Okay? So, so in, in the process that you are working out, Remember, when you are working out, you require more of the, the energy and the calories. So you need to, to also incorporate them. Okay. Yes. All right, gentlemen, I cannot wait to taste what Chef has put together. So we take another short break on your world. When we come back, we shall be doing the tasting and the testing of Chef's skills. And uh, we'll also get to understand other aspects of uh, healthy eating and nutrition, especially mafuta. That's where the problem is. We'll be right back. opportunities for a lifetime of happiness. The future is bright because you can always bank on family. Family Bank with you for life. From far with you, mm. I even gifted you a magnificent house. Mm. Rosa, it's the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. Please help me. When it comes to fever, you need to be both. Panadol Baby and Infant starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Panadol Baby and Infant, tough on fever, gentle on your child. With the Stay Soft Refill, saving money is as easy as snip, pour, mix with water and shake. Stay Soft Refill, it's two liters of Stay Soft for up to 30% less. To achieve great things in life, you must do little things every day, like the one, two, three with Colgate. One, wake up, wake up. Two, brush up, brush up. Three, smile through your day with a fresh breath and strong tea. Smile through your day with a fresh breath and strong tea. Do the one, two, three with Colgate and give yourself a future to smell about. One of the best ways to save money is by visualizing what you're saving for. 
if you need motivation, set saving targets along with a timeline to make it easier to save. All professionals should join us to benefit from competitive products, high qualifying credit, attractive returns and services automation. Join us and attain your financial independence. Mhasibu Sako, the Sako for professionals. Mama Ashanti how this Nigerian couple has teamed up with two other West African families to bring the test of West Africa to Kenya. These yams are not found in East Africa. Really? These are West mm. African mm. yams. Mm -hmm. On Kenya to the world, governments have done what they need to do. Kenya and Ghana boost trade between the two countries. And on my magical Kenya, why mangrove forests are key to the tourism sector this Saturday at 7.30 p.m. on NTV. Help build a strong foundation for your growing child with Nestle Nunkid. Nestle Nunkid 4. Our best for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making us. Thank you for making us your favorite drive show crew. National Fame, we love you. Oh, thank you, people. This is the bad guys I'm teaching. I'm glad you do. You and the one with Tizia. We're like the bamba na show you when they let evil, evil. I came to rap it up, do my thing, fight. Thank you for listening to 96.3 Nation FM. Of course, Antona Obina. Antona Obina. Call him taking control. Bad love. 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 New Year comes with New Year deals. Renew your corporate subscription and get a bonus. Subscribe to Nation ePaper for three months and get one week absolutely free. Six months and get two weeks absolutely free. One year and get three weeks absolutely free. To sign up, visit ePaper.nationmedia.com or email subscription at ke.nationmedia.com. Offer valid till 28th February 2020. 21. Creedu Mix is all about anything created artistically by us for us. Music reviews. Feel the fresh vibes full of surprises as we get interactive with your favorite artists and celebrities exclusively. We will bring you all the latest hits, trending topics, and the weekly top 10 every weekday from 5 to 6. And you're watching Crypto Mix on NTV. Keep it loud. Will you wash your hands with me? I want to wash my hands with you. Come on, I will show you what to do. Wash your hands, wash your hands in clean water. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wet them with the water. Wash your hands, wash your hands, now add some soap. Scrub your hands, scrub your hands in the soap and water Scrub above and below between the fingers too Scrub under your nails and scrub a dub a doo Rinse your hands, rinse your hands, rinse your hands in water Rinse them clean, rinse them clean, rinse away the soap Dry your hands, dry your hands, dry your hands and go Akili, why do we wash our hands? To wash away the germs! Akili, what are germs? They're like tiny little bugs on your hands and they can make you sick. But I don't see any germs on my hand. That's because they're so tiny that you can't even see them. Oh wow, I want to wash the germs away. Will you wash your hands with me, Akili?
Try Panadol Advance for relief from headaches, body aches, and fever. With Panadol's Optizob formula, the tablet gently breaks down in the stomach, quickly absorbs, and starts providing pain relief in 15 minutes. For fast and effective pain relief that you can trust, try Panadol Advance. Okay, awesome. So we finally have the meals that we've been preparing for the last one and a half hours. So thank you for staying with your world as we understood how to put together a healthy and nutritious meal. Remember, most of you think eating healthy is boring. If you look at this, there's nothing boring about it. So um, I think at this point, Chef, the question to you would be, and this is Chef Braha, who's been with us, and of course, Kennedy, who is a clinical nutritionist. Most people say that when they go and eat out, they don't feel like their nutritional value or needs are catered for because the hotels are quick to think about putting together a gourmet meal without necessarily thinking about the nutritional value. But clearly, today you've shown us that you've put thought into your menu, right? Yes. Why is this important for you? This is uh, important for us uh, because uh, nutrition is is another part. Nowadays, is COVID is going on this big pandemic, and everybody is conscious for on health. Mm -hmm. So that's way we have to go for uh, nutritious food, not for going for junk food like a burger, something like uh, deep fried something. So that's that's why I plan to go for nutritious food. Uh -huh. yes. Do you ever consider special needs for your clients when they come in and they say, okay, fine, perhaps I'm diabetic, I have a hypertension, yes. perhaps you can reduce yes. your menu? So uh, sometimes different different types of client is coming and their requirement is also different. Okay. Some uh, some guest has uh, diabetic, some, uh, some, uh, some guest has gluten-free requirements. So it's according to guest requirement we are making okay. food yes uh -huh. all right so Kennedy yes. I think we get the privilege to taste what we sure, have sure. been uh, preparing and you are right yes. the aesthetics are as important as the value of the food because this in itself is so attractive I want to eat it yes. and yet it has a tag of healthy and nutritious so I think I'll give you the opportunity to start off with our breakfast menu yes. and tell us uh, what it is and I guess we can go together and then we can give a review a review of the same eh? okay. let us see so this is a salmon Is it? Chef, Chef, you're right. The, <laughs> the marination went all the way in. Very nice. Let me. I'm curious about the chickpeas, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> Not well done, which is what we normally want about our food. Don't cook the nutrients out yes. of it, which is good. That's why, uh, if you see salmon, also we mm. not. It's well done. It's not well done. Uh -huh. If you well done salmon, all nutrition will go. Well, go away. Yes. Somehow you will see nutrition also. People are eating even a raw in a, somehow sushi oh, salads. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. Now the coconut gives such a great flavor. Yes. To the chickpeas, if you can't stand the chickpeas, so that's a good idea. The cherries. Hmm. To some niyanya kawaii dandogo. Very nice, very nice. Now, something I haven't tried, and we said it's optional, yeah. is the chili. So I'm going to be wise and put it on the side. Though it's very good to look at, but I know I can't handle so much chili. So the other thing is the lentil. 
puree that I tasted. It actually gives a nice flavor with the fish. Yeah? Mm. Mm. It actually brings everything together. And we said the puree has garlic in it. No? It's a garlic is there mm. and some onions there. Mm -hmm. Sort it along with uh, lentil, mm -hmm. boiled lentil, and then puree it. Okay. All right. Now you see most people go to hotels and wonder what, about the garnish. Let me try the radish. <laughs> it actually tastes like cucumber. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, don't be afraid to try out the different things that are put on your plate. So, your turn, Kennedy. How is yes. your meal? Mm -hmm. Like before, even I test it, I've already tested it. It's quite good. Yeah. Normally, as a nutritionist, we testing of food mm -hmm. yeah, is a science, actually. It's called what we call organoleptic. Okay, it's a process whereby you use your senses to, to test, the body senses to test your food. Okay, so you use the test of smell, the test from the tongue, all that, the eyes, yeah. So uh, just from the first presentation that the, the food has been made, you've already passed one test. There you okay. go, chef. Well <laughs> yeah. Done. yeah. So now when you go to the other other test, like you, you look at the, the, the texture, you look at the, is it so smooth, uh, is, 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 is it um, easily palatable, yeah. So those are the things we look into. And from what I've just tested, I love it. I, in fact, I can't wait to finish this. Ah, you can't wait to finish. So, well done, Chef thank Rama. You thank you for hosting us on this and also preparing such a delicious meal and actually proving it is possible to have a healthy gourmet meal. All right? Yes. Now, there was a question that came through. Yes. The amounts of oil we put in our food. There are people who believe yummy food equates to a lot of oil from a nutritional point of view what's your stand okay what i can say is uh, we we oil is also as important as other nutrients in our diet okay the, the problem comes in when the, the type of oil we choose for our our food we have the saturated oil and people don't really understand what the saturation means in, in, in the chemical setup of an oil, the saturated oil, you find all the, the there is a mixer for carbon atoms and hydrogen, and they are connected within the bonds. So the saturated one, there is no double bond between them. So it's really hard to break it up. And that is what we call the bad side of the oil. While the one that is easily broken down when you put it under heat, that is the unsaturated one, is the one that is quite important for us to do. Okay. Now, when we come to the, um, the quantity that we are supposed to use, I know most Kenyan setup they take their cooking oil, then they pour. Oh, yes. Yeah, that, that's the, the normal. Like that you have to see your onions doused in oil. Yes. Oh. Sure. <laughs> so now, what, what, what the body does is, uh, when it, it gets into the body the way it is, it's being converted into cholesterol. And this is the one, the bad cholesterol, that they accumulate within our, our arteries. Okay, causing what we call atherosclerosis. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 you find the, the fat deposition within the, the lining of them, and these are risk factors actually of hypertension and also heart diseases. So when it comes to the quantity of oil, that's why we look at what we call food composition table. Okay, when we're looking at food composition table, when I calculate for you, for instance, the amount of nutrients you require, I'll also incorporate the oil that you require and the measurements. So I really encourage uh, Kenyans that they should incorporate measurement into their kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Rather than just doing the traditional way, when we do the measurement, we'll be within our, uh, the, the, what it's required, the quantity. Uh -huh. yeah. So between... Um, they say kuna mafuta, yeah? You know, the eamaji, for those that literally yeah. translate it loosely, then there is the solid yes. fat. Yes. Is one good over the other? And for those who also say that uh, things like olive oil are so expensive beyond many Kenyans' uh, affordability. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no, that's why I was talking about now the, 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 the saturation. When we are looking at the solid and the, the liquid part, we are looking at now the saturation. So you find the solid one is now the saturated fat. Uh, the one that has been connected by so many uh, 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 single uh, bonds. And now the, the unsaturated one, which is now we say is the best one, 
is the what is should be taken is now the, the the liquid part of it. Okay. Now when it comes to the olive oil, I know that the olive is one of the best one, though it's expensive, but it's 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 the one that we should encourage uh, people to do because it's from the plant source. Yeah. So what is the option? Not afford olive oil. Yeah. What's my option? Do I just eat my food without oil? Not, not necessarily. Uh -huh. Remember, we need oil. Yes. And I have seen so many parents there when they are bringing up their children in terms of complementary feeding. At a given moment, they try to, to, get a, to prepare food even without oil. Yes. Remember, even this food is test, testful because now we have the, the, the oil in it. Okay. Okay? So now the, the option is you can use the other, other liquid part of the oil but at least the, you be concerned and cognizant of the, the quantity you are using. Yes. So it's possible to use possible what we can afford just in moderation. Okay. Especially we incorporate measurement into our kitchen. Excellent. Yes. All right. I love what I'm hearing because what we are actually affirming is the fact that uh, we can make healthy food with what we have in terms of our budget and also have local ingredients that we can put together that can have a tick on our health and our nutrition. So for Chef, even as we bring this conversation to a close, um, what would be your suggestion and advice to other chefs who have not really caught on on the importance of uh, inculcating health and nutrition in the preparing of the food? I will suggest uh Every chef, see, chef's job is just creative jobs. Yes. Yeah. According to demands, we have to create. So we are not, uh, we can't say, no, this is traditional, we can't go uh, some uh, bypass or something like that. Yes. We can do that. That's why chef is always saying, chef is like a creative. Yeah. So chef can create according to our requirement. We discussed earlier also, uh, nowadays is uh, like a diabetic people, requirement is different. Gluten free people, the requirement is different. Mm -hmm. So according to requirement, we have to, I will suggest uh, my seniors or juniors, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure everybody knows about this healthy food also. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they will prepare according to chef. Uh, guest requirement. Okay. Well. All right, Kennedy, yes. you sit at the docket where it really matters, the nutritional value of yes. everything we put on our plate. What would you like to remind us even as we bring this conversation to a close? Okay. This uh, management of nutrition related uh, problem is quite expensive. It will reach a point in time when if you're not taking care of yourself, when you are still outside the hospital, it will require you expensive. For instance, right now we can eat orally. Okay? It will reach a point, maybe infections come in. We have maybe cancer of the stomach, for instance, where you can't now take the oral food. You require what you call parenteral foods. Like it's like this set, kind of a setup, but it is now in, a, in the one that we deliver via the, the veins. Okay? And that is quite expensive. For instance, like one bag of a commercially made parenteral food goes for close to 10,000. That is a three-chamber bag. It has the fat, the protein, and that. And that one you need in 24 hours, you see? So you can imagine a patient in ICU for maybe a, a whole month and require this on a daily basis, uh, how much it is. So it is quite costly. But this one we can prevent by at least trying to check on what we are, we are eating when we are still outside. So that is the message I can give that. Let's first of all take care of ourselves because before somebody else takes care of us, which is quite expensive. Very well said. Kennedy, thank you so much for being the clinical nutritionist on this broadcast and of course coming all the way from Odaya yeah. to give us this kind of advice. He is actually at uh, the Kenyatta National Hospital Level 6 in Odaya and of course Chef Brahmanad. Yes. Finally, I got the name right. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you very for much your for time coming. and for your culinary skills and for putting this together. Thank you for also Thank hosting us. And as I mentioned, we are coming to you live from the Crown Plaza Airport Nairobi Hotel. And definitely a good meal we have in front of us, which we shall partake right after we bid you farewell. Have a wonderful day.
Presenting the new Hapik Bathroom Cleaner. Compared to ordinary detergents, its thick formulation gives you superior cleaning and kills 99.9% .9 of germs and viruses all around the bathroom. Blue for the toilet and red for the bathroom. Fact Finder from the BBC. Why are there few oncologists in Africa and what's the impact on cancer treatment? We tell you what we found out. The number is not enough but of course they are helping to provide the quality cancer uh, treatment to our patients. This immigration scam goes viral online. We found out how it started and why some people fell for it. And did an airline fat shame its passengers? We tell you why it stopped them from moving seats. And protecting public safety or endangering human rights? We look at how facial recognition technology is being used around the world.